it is the beginning of a brand new week for us at day number 11 to start us off not much movement on the chart today you can see australian dollar new zealand dollar barely moved and same for the swiss franc did push up a bit came kind of close to the take profit for sub trade a but since back down hopefully it does want to bounce at the moment looking like it could just be a stalling day before another drop but let's wait and see and in terms of other trades we are looking at the new zealand dollar cad which isn't quite a perfect level it's not too bad here we would want to see it come up a bit more to around about here we did previously have it marked around about this level but it smashed through there i'm more inclined to go in on the australian dollar canadian dollar overbought here in a pretty nice level bounces previously and towards the top of this range as well you can see a bounce further back as well so it's quite a nice level we are going to get in here so you can see the risk calculated on screen selling off the market 0 0.20 standard lots for sub trade a and 0 0.15 for sub trade b up here are our stop loss levels and down here are the take profit levels yeah i do like the look of this i think there could be enough for bounce even if it doesn't go to new lows again just get down into this range if it wants to bounce off this support region that's fine we'd take profit by that good to get into a trade for the start of the week though so now we've got five sub trades open across three currency pairs plenty at stake let's see how they're getting on tomorrow not a great day for us overall again not a lot of movement on the australian dollar new zealand dollar nor on the us dollar swiss franc so the aussie caddy was the only one that really moved and it did move against us didn't get to the stop loss that's why we got that little bit of extra room if it was just one times atr it would have hit it so it could still come back down hopeful for that if it doesn't and it does keep going we might end up getting in the new zealand dollar canadian dollar runs very similarly to the australian dollar canadian dollar understandably see the overall similarity if i jump between the charts and so if it was to push a bit higher just up to this sort of region in the next day or two maybe we get knocked out of the aussie caddy and get in on the kiwi cad instead probably have an option for the same on the new zealand dollar us dollar next few days if it gets up a bit more so we do have some options no new entry signals tonight we'll maintain as we are and see how it's looking tomorrow day 13 and again not too much action today no real movement on the aussie nzd a little bit of movement towards our take profit for the us dollar swiss franc and a little bit closer to the stop loss for the australian dollar canadian dollar still going okay could break either way for all three of these trades and we're not quite there with the new zealand dollar canadian dollar need that higher push got to be bouncing off the upper levels is what we want right at this region would be very nice but i do think we will take a pop of the euro us dollar price has gone up a bit further it's touching right on this region back here very close to this bounce as well we're gonna go for it okay let's get our trades in 0 0.1 standard lots for sub trade a and 0 0.07 for sub trade b and there you can see our take profit levels seems very reasonable to just get back down into this range again like the look of these trades that we're taking good bit of room to the stop loss overall pretty happy now in four separate trades they have been coming sharp and fast but so far they're coming in good day four team good day for us in general not great on the australian dollar new zealand dollar it did drop back to our entry price ever so slightly below now but we're in the opposite way against the australian dollar on the canadian dollar pair that's gone to the good the us dollar swiss franc this was successful we took profit on our sub trade a and it was actually a positive swap as well three dollars 71 so we took 132.03 home in the end sub trade b still going a big push tomorrow and we'd be looking at very good going into the weekend finally a euro us dollar not much movement there slightly to the good again it did head towards the take profit for sub trade a didn't get there though and now just a touch in profit about 15 20 dollars for each sub trade no extra trades nothing new looking better for us on the charts so we'll stick with these hopefully that good news keeps on rolling in so far so good day 15 last day of the week bit of a mixed day for us today australian dollar new zealand dollar sharp drop towards the stop loss looking pretty unstable here now already took profit on sub trade a so it's only sub b that we're concerned about but yeah not looking good right now not too much movement on the australian dollar canadian dollar trade bit of a move against us but not too concerned it has pushed back down recently dollar swiss franc has sub trade b that's up a bit more and finally the euro us dollar does get a bit closer towards that take profit for sub trade a so currently balancing out all those open trades leaves us about 45 dollars up currently 
And that's about just over $600 up overall for the strategy. So 6% in three weeks so far. Very nice. Good gains. And we are going to get in one more trade for the weekend. Going to sneak into it. The New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. It has pushed up today and it really is right at this resistance level now. Still overbought on the MFI. But you can see this line right here, not something we've marked on the chart. It is the bid price line. So it looks like it could be a good resistance opportunity. So here we go, getting into our trades. We are selling off the market in this instance. And there we go. Down go the stop loss and take profit levels. Looking good now, five open trades. There is a bit of overlap in what we're trading. Similar pairs in terms of the euro, US dollar and the Swiss franc. Now having the full triangle going between the Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar and Canadian dollar. But most of these setups are looking pretty good. And so far the strategy has success. So hopefully it carries on that way. Let's take it to the journal. Yes, indeed, it is still looking pretty good from the journal. So far, four gains on these sub trades, no losses yet. We were able to add this US dollar Swiss franc gain this week and got into three new trades Aussie caddy, Euro USD, and New Zealand dollar caddy. All still wide open, plenty to play for. But after 15 days, we are liking what we're seeing. Fingers crossed for more of the same in week four.